Okay. I am perplexed. I am confused here. Literally tearing my hair out over this. So what you're seeing here is my old Windows 7 laptop. And I'm trying to transfer one measly little file over to it, over the network, from my main Windows 10 computer. Now, I don't think the issue is because one of them is Windows 10 and one of them is Windows 7. So, you can see Call to Clem HP up here in the network thing, which is this laptop. But when I go to it, try it again. It asks me for network credentials, a username and password. Now, I never set a network password up on this thing. So, why is it asking me for this? Now, if we go into the network and sharing center on the laptop here, you can see I've got everything turned on. The only thing that's turned off is password protected sharing all right the password is turned off all right still ask me for a password i do seem to be able to do it the other way around because right this is what you can see here is desktop blah 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 that's this computer and again it asked me for a password and a login all that crap. Now, I know that I never set a network password up on this. But as a last desperate attempt to try to get some access to those files, I tried the login, you know, the main Windows login and password that I set. And that seemed to work. So I can get into the files this way. And just to set the record straight, I have password protected sharing turned off on this computer as well. So it shouldn't have asked me for a password in the first place. Okay, so next up we got old Franken PC here. Now you might remember that this is the computer where I installed Windows 10 with a Windows 7 product key and that all worked. Well now when I turn it on, it doesn't even boot. I'll just give it a few seconds here. It's not even turn the monitor on now. Oh, never mind. See, this is all I get now. Just a blinking cursor. First I thought there was something wrong with the hard drive, but there isn't. Well, I'll explain why later on. I mean, firstly, if there was something wrong with the hard drive, you'd see a message saying invalid system disk replace and hit any key, but it's not even doing that. It's just giving a blinking cursor, that's all it's doing. It doesn't even let me type in anything. Okay, so I've got this hard drive now connected up instead which has Windows XP on it and this drive which it wouldn't boot from is now connected up to where the um, CD burner used to be connected so we should see Windows XP loading up I'd be very surprised if we don't yeah so here we are in Windows XP with both of those hard drives connected. And as you can see here, maybe if I just maximize this, you can see both of those disks are here. You can see both of them. But when I go into um, thingy, let's go to my computer, it only sees the disk that's got Windows XP on it. It doesn't see the other hard drive. Yet the computer management thing. I go into there. There it is. Both disks. So what's the deal with this hard drive? Alright, so I've got it in my other computer now as the second drive. 
I'm just waiting for Windows to boot. So, if I go into my com on this PC, I'm so used to calling it my computer. You can see the drive right there. It shows up on Windows 10 absolutely fine. I can go into it and access the files. See? It's all here. So it's working absolutely fine on this computer, so why isn't it working on the other computer? Why is it doing all that weird stuff? Speaking of weird stuff... Okay, so as some of you might know, this is the little amplifier that I built for my computer. And it doesn't matter what amplifier I've used or anything, I always have this noise in the background. Now, at first I thought this might be a ground loop. So, in this simplified drawing here, I've got the computer and the amplifier which mixes the onboard audio and USB audio together. And I've reconfigured this so it now runs off the computer's PSU. And what I've drawn here are the three ground connections. So we've got power ground, onboard audio ground, and USB audio ground. So there's quite a few possibilities for ground loops here. I mean, we could have one here, we could have one here, or we could even have one here. But I found out it's not a ground loop. Okay, so I'm about to start unplugging things from this amplifier. I'll turn the sound up so you can hear the changes. So I'm going to unplug the USB audio, which is this one here. As you can hear, it's gone down a little bit. Now I'm going to unplug the main audio. So with none of those plugged in, as you can hear, it's completely silent. So it's not the amplifier making that noise. I've got the volume turned all the way up, and if I put my ear to the speaker, I can hear a very, very faint hum, but that's all it's doing. Yet as soon as I plug even just the signal wire up, so the ground is not connected, so the only ground it's getting is through the power ground, right? So I've only got the left signal connected, I haven't got the left ground connected, or any of the other grounds, and as you can hear, we've got this awful noise. Just to prove that the signal is getting through, I'll turn it all the way down. Let's play something. Let's play one of the files that I recovered off that hard drive. So this is um, some of the dialogue for the Star Kids episode seven. Clem, it's for you. Uh, who is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Some fairy wants to talk to you. I'll be right down. So, as you can see, it, it's getting its ground from the power ground there. So, no other grounds are connected. We're still getting this noise, though. So, yeah, it's not a ground loop. So, yeah, I welcome your suggestions on any of these weird issues I'm having. And until next time, Goodbye.